What's up, everybody? TJ here, and I just wanted to get this uh, quick video out um, real quick. As uh, as you know, tomorrow night is uh, uh, payback, so I'm going to get this quick prediction video out. And um, can't believe I'm saying this is that I'm, believe it or not, I'm actually excited for payback, believe it or not, because um, for the first time, it feels like WWE's like laying all their cards out, and all the pieces are falling into place. And it's like, that's good, actually. Of course, so we've had, in my opinion, an an average WrestleMania. It could be better, but anyway, but, but it's like, uh, then afterwards, like, something changed. Like, all of a sudden, like, the light clicked on, and everyone's like, my God, this was a great, great night after WrestleMania. Um, uh, Cesaro's back. Oh, my goodness, all this great talent. AJ Styles is number one contender. And, of course, obviously, the big thing that's going around now is, of course, Bullet Club. Bullet Club's with the company. Yay, finally. They've finally shown up. So, anyway, let me get this uh done and through real quick um uh let's see so tomorrow night is payback the show is actually looks pretty darn solid from what, what i will look at it, except for one and that's the u.s title match um of course uh nothing too special there um uh, i think um I, either a cleat still is gonna retain or maybe right back they're probably gonna put the belt on right back I, I, don't, I don't know it's pretty much a scrub belt and i would kind of agree with a couple of people over the internet maybe uh let's see ambrose versus jericho i i'm loving what they're doing so um uh, i don't know who's gonna win i'm thinking uh I, I'm thinking Ambrose maybe to avenge his loss over uh, um, Lesnar, but maybe Chris Jericho will maybe pull one out of his belt and put you know from behind and maybe win one. So I don't know. Uh, Zayn versus Owens easily come probably be a show stealing match. I want to see that. Um, uh, who's gonna win? I don't know. Uh, it, they both know each other very well, so it's probably gonna be a big show stealing match. Like I said. Um, then we have the uh, Tag Team Number 1 Contenders Tournament. Uh, Enzo and Cass versus the Vaude Villains. My goodness, the last time these two fought against each other was back in NXT. So, uh, it's like, all of a sudden, they got, like, all the NXT talent on the roster. It's awesome. So, uh, who's going to win? I don't know. I'm, the party wants to pick Enzo and Cass because I love them. They're over as hell. I love the Vaude Villains as well because of their old-timey feel. But they're kind of leaning more towards the heel spectrum. I'm like, oh, I didn't like the heel Vaude Villains. I like the babyface Vaude Villains. You know, like when they would come to the ring, you know, uh, in their deeper, you know. I love their jackets. Of course, uh, I, I keep watching London, the, take over London, where they came out like uh, dressed, you know, the, you know, I mean, when they came dressed out as like uh, Sherlock Holmes and uh, Doctor Who perspectively. So that was pretty cool. I love that nod. So uh, um, I, I really don't know who's going to win. So uh, it's all up in the air. Uh, let's see. Cesaro versus The Miz. Um, I'm happy Cesaro was back. Uh, another potential maybe show stealing match. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm thinking maybe Cesaro will win. I'm not too sure. Or m maybe uh, The Miz will win. Uh, it's a damn shame that uh, Zack Ryder lost to the Intercontinental Championship. So... Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm just having mixed feelings about this whole situation with Cesaro. And, of course, I'm kind of loving the new look that Cesaro's got. It's kind of like a James Bond-esque feel. Of course, some people are saying uh, they, they ain't like it, but I'm like, screw you guys. A Cade's Bond. Whoever likes Bond, you'll love it, okay? They, we really need more James Bond gimmicks, you know, even though, you know, secret it's agent much I'm, I know what I know what you think wait wait he's a secret agent not supposed to say that but again it's a trope okay let's talk but that's not the point I love that kind of gimmick so um I'm picking Cesaro over the Miz okay I don't care what everyone else thinks uh then of course our main event AJ Styles versus uh Roman Reigns uh who I think is gonna win um everyone's saying that I don't think AJ is gonna win um Reigns is probably gonna, gonna retain retain and uh Maybe people are suspe suspecting a, a Bullet Club a heel turn, you know, turn on Styles. Um, and, of course, some people are, are speculating, will Finn Bauer show up? I don't know. Uh, I, would, um, I would love to see something happen. So, uh, I, I don't know. I just want to see a good, good main event, actually. And, of course, we kind of got a tease of that back at the Royal Rumble, which, in all honesty, um, the Royal Rumble match itself was good. The rest of the show average but yes okay so i'm breaking my silence about that whole thing so so WWE was off to a rocky star in my opinion beginning of this year but it's like all of a sudden all of a sudden they realized the white one on their head they're like no no we get we got to change, change this up okay okay it's like um uh yeah shane mcmahon was right actually we, we need to shake things up so um and, and that's another thing um please vince do the right thing keep shane on as as maybe a uh, you know in charge of raw actually because um uh, in all honesty I've said this before the authority um in charge was just 
get was just repetitive and bland. And of course, I've said this before. I hated all that. It's like it was just so boring to the point where I said, screw this. I'd rather be watching Witch Underground. I'd rather be watching Ring of Honor. I'd rather be watching NXT more than the main roster. Okay. So, uh, but but please, Vince, do the right thing. Keep Shane on, okay? Because I I love what Shane does. Because Shane can really shake things up. He can see things his own way, you know, from a fan standpoint and from a business standpoint. And what's best for business, which of course is becoming cliche now. Um, I hope he does the right thing and make sure everyone's happy. Maybe turn Reigns heel if they want to, but at least make everyone happy, okay? So. I just want to see a great night of action, okay? So, uh, I'm really excited for Payback, okay? So, uh, let, let me hear your thoughts about uh, Payback, who you think's going to win, okay? So, uh, and if you want to, uh, obviously, watch Payback, okay? Keep it tuned in for some more video videos, guys.